Hey, what's up, y'all? Clean Cuts, the one, coming back with another video. Um, just got out of a very long, drawn-out day at school. We weren't very busy, and uh, so I couldn't wait to get home and do this review. Um, I was going to do a review on the wall shaver shaper, um, and then I had a lot of y'all asking me questions about the Andes Profoil Lithium. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to do a uh, review. I'm going to do my best to do a, a review uh, followed by a comparison. I'm going to try not to just compare them the whole time uh, because I think they both serve their purpose and I think they're both great products. So let's start with uh, the Wall Shaver Shaper. Right? You can get this on Amazon for about 50 bucks. This is where I get everything. All of my clippers, all of my trimmers, the first thing I do is check Amazon first. Um, you know, I'm not uh, Atlanta Barber. That's my second go-to MD Barber. I'll mess with them a little bit. But mostly everything I find comes from Amazon because I'm looking for the deals. So the wall shaver shaper, it says uh, it's got a rotary motor, 60-minute uh, run time, uh, perfect to finish bald phage, remove any stubble for ultra smooth. You know what a shaver's for. Um, it comes with a charger stand. As you can see, it comes with all that. That's fun stuff. Um, so what are my thoughts? I use this a lot. I actually have uh, a dude named Billy. You've heard me talk about him. This is the Shaver Shaper, by the way. And um, you've heard me talk about my friend Billy. Well, he's got a bald head. And I'm the one that does his bald head. I take my balding clippers, I run them over, and then I follow with this. So um, it is a very strong motor. You can hear it. Um, <clears throat> I would classify it as loud. Um, uh, and it, it does the job. It takes all the hair off down to the skin. It really does a great job on it. Um, it comes with this top that has these foils. This is what you buy to get replaced. And these foils, um, they're lightweight uh, and they're, they're essentially, this is the moving blade right there. This is the, this is the, the stationary blade, right? Um, and, and they're very thin, so they do a great job of picking up the hair. Something very important to know about this product is that it was created to be used gently, right? A lot of people want to mash it into the head. That is not how this product was meant to be used. These blades are sharpened in a way to where all you need to do is in a circular motion just run it across the stubble, right? Because it needs to be down to stubble first. Um, but this blade will take care of it. You don't have to do any mashing at all. Another problem, a lot of you guys are having, uh, you say your switch qu quits working. That's because... You see these grooves right here? This is a grip, right? To make that connection on the electronic, it's supposed to go in the direction of the arrow. You just slide it forward. This is not meant to be pushed, right? So if a lot of y'all shaver shapers are messing up, you're pushing it, and that's the problem. All right, um, so, um, this is a great shaver. I never would have gotten this shaver. Um, if it wasn't for one particular issue, Wall makes a lot of awesome lithium products like the Magic Clip. It's one of my favorite cl uh, clippers. I use it all the time. The charger port for this is the exact same size and shape as the charger port for the lithium battery. This is not a lithium battery. This is just a regular battery. So when you plug a lithium battery into this, the voltage is a lot higher. It's just too much. And what ends up happening is you melt your charger port. This is what it is. This happened, uh, Billy did the same thing. When you're in a hurry and you're going back and forth between one thing and the next, trying to get this on the charger, my opinion, I wish that it had its own unique charger shape. I wish that it didn't accept the lithium um, shaped chargers, but it was my fault. I'm gonna send it in the wall. I'm gonna see if they'll um, replace it or fix it, but if they won't, no big deal. Uh, I still got one charge left on it from what happened to, to, to my friend is when it happened to him. He ran this charge out and it was OV. So, since that happened, um, that was, um, again, I never would have replaced this for any reason. This was an awesome shaver. I absolutely loved it. While I was using this shaver, I heard awesome reviews on the Profoil Lithium from Andis. Um, and when this happened, it was pretty much my reason to go get it. Um, this is 50 bucks, it's the same price. Uh, and on the box, let's see here, it says, uh, best for finishing fade removing stubble, the same stuff. It's got a rotary motor, um, lithium ion battery. That's one of the biggest differences is this is lithium, this is not. 
Um, and this claims an 80 minute run time as opposed to a 60 minute run time. So I got this on Amazon, 50 bucks, same deal. Um, also heard a lot of really positive reviews about it. So I got one. Um, you can see it. That's the Shaver Shaper. And uh, today was my first day getting to use it. And I'll let you hear it. Kind of a little, um, well, I'm not going to compare you. So using this today, right, I balled a billy out. And uh, then I took these across and, and uh, one thing that's different with this that I noticed, uh, whereas this has uh, one foil that runs up and under, right? This has two separate foils, one top, one bottom. It's two separate pieces. Now granted, when you're replacing, you only buy this. But what I'm saying is these are independent blades. This, these two are independent of one another. And these two uh, stationary blades are independent of one another. So, when um, when using this today, uh, I I just noticed that um, Billy said that it felt good. It, it, it sounded kind of like this one sounds when you're pulling hair, but he said it was comfortable. It didn't hurt him, and I noticed that this thing was really taking it low. I didn't think the hair could go lower than the wall super shaver. This did it. This brought the hair lower on this one specific client that I've been balding him out and shaving his head with the shaver shaper for a long time. This took it down. It really did. Um, when I turn this on, it doesn't sound as loud. It, uh, it feels smoother. Um, again, I'm not endorsing one or the other. I'm, I'm going to have one of each anyway. Uh, but this just feels smoother um, and I'm, I'm really glad I got it uh, it's just it, it seems like uh, and here's the comparison piece it seems a little bit more powerful even though it's smoother right this one uh, a lot of people say that this one's more powerful I think it's just louder um, because you can hear the difference let's see So I'm not sure if you can tell, but this one does sound louder. Um, and this one in my hand, it feels a lot bassier. There's a lot more vibration going on with this motor than, than in this one. Um, so people say this is more power, but I'm not sure if it's because they've actually compared the two or because of the sound and the feel. Um, me, I think this one did a better job of taking the hair down to skin. Um, and even past skin. Usually I, I hit my dude with a couple squirts of um, uh, um, sea breeze after I, after, I, after I balled him out. After I did this one, he felt like he actually needed the sea breeze. Not because he was irritated, because he felt like the hair was really taken a lot lower. So if I had to go with only one, uh, I would have to go with the Andis Profoil Lithium. Um, it really is a good shaver, made a huge difference. But again, not knocking Andits by any stretch of the imagination. They haven't come out with a lithium shaver. They could do that at any given time. I feel like if they were to choose to improve upon this, they would. They, they could probably do something like this. Uh, but because Andits got the lithium first, and their uh, their blade system, the foil system that they have, I don't even know if this is a foil. Maybe what it's called, but this actually feels like a foil. People say this breaks off often. I can't really see that happening with this one. So, um, two really great shavers. They both get the job done. Uh, um, you know, they're just they're just really good. Yeah, there's a lot of debate. Should you be using these on your clients, man? Just make sure you sanitize and disinfect. Um, that's the biggest thing. You have to take these off. I take an air blower and I blow out all the hairs. I uh, you know, take the alcohol, the toothbrush, I get in there, I clean everything that I can um, and disinfect with the the, um, the cool care. It's, it's just necessary. You have to do that. So a lot of people say it's not worth the trouble. A lot of people just run these things on everybody's head all they want. You can't do that, guys. You got to sanitize, you got to disinfect, and you got to sterilize sometimes. Um, so, you know, it's just all about being responsible. So... Anyways, I hope this review helped. I had several of you guys asking which one is which. Man, get either one of them. They're both awesome. There's, there's no endorsement here. Uh, but there is a preference for me, and it's Andis. I just feel like they got 
Um, they got on the lithium battery first. They had this one to look at, made a couple improvements. So that's my take. Um, anyways, hope it was helpful. Please continue to um, watch the videos, comment, like. If you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. I've got the wall cordless detailer coming up. I'm going to cut with it for one more day. Uh, and then I'm going to put my review out and post my thoughts. So until next time, peace.